Hi, I'm C.J. Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. <clears throat> so today we're going to bring you another used living quarters. Uh, you know, we do take trade-ins here, and if you have a trailer sitting around you want to turn into some cash, you don't need, give us a call. We'll be happy to take a look at it and see if we can't work out a deal and just buy it outright from you. So when we bring in these used living quarters, I want to walk you through what we do to them. We don't just bring them in, wash them, picture them, say, here you go, as is. We understand that these are used trailers, but we try to go through them as best we can. We're not going to tell you everything brand new, nothing like that. Um, but what we do is we've got two different shops when we're dealing with the living quarters. We have a chassis shop, and then we have a household shop. So in the chassis shop, we're going to realign every trailer when it comes in. Uh, we'll go through the actual, you know, make sure brakes bearings are good on the trailer, make sure all lights work, breakaway battery, brakes. If brakes need to be replaced, we do that. Uh, this one's actually equipped with an onboard generator, so our chassis shop will service the generator. Uh, the only reason we won't service a generator is if it, if you have records of it just being serviced, um, and then we can match it up with the hours. Uh, if that's not the case, we'll go ahead and just service it. That way, we know from that date, you know, we have the hours in our on our records, and we just go ahead and take care of it. The other thing we look at is tires, making sure tires match. They're within date code. Good, tre good tread on them as well. If not, we replace them. Then the trailer will go to our household shop and it'll have the living quarters gone through. We'll check water systems, we'll check electrical, we'll check LP, we'll service AC units, refrigerators, hot water heaters. We try to go in and, and service those appliances for you. So again, we know that it just got taken care of while it was here before it left. So again, we do quite a few things to these trailers. Um, just to make sure they're ready for you. So this is a 2020 Elite Four Horse Living Quarters. So this was actually a trade-in on a brand new Cimarron. We're a Cimarron and Logan dealer, so this was traded in on a new Living Quarters on the Cimarron side. But again, it's a 2020. Let me give you kind of some specs on it before we kind of get into how this trailer is equipped. Uh, this trailer here is 35 foot on the floor. It's seven six tall. It's eight foot wide. The empty weight on it is 14,800 pounds. Um, two 10,000 pound axles. It is a 13 foot short wall. It is an outback conversion. Uh, this is actually a reverse load. So we'll kind of jump into this here in a minute. But let's kind of start walking you through this trailer and how it was equipped. So underneath the gooseneck here, You've got the electric over hydraulic jack. It does have the manual override, so if you do get in, in emergency situations, you can get this on or off the truck. Battery box. You got dual batteries in there, and then we've got two 20-pound LP bottles. So on some of these options, uh, we've actually gone in. We've got another channel on our, on our YouTube side where we go in and we'll show you how to operate some of this stuff. So, We've got a video on how to operate that electric over hydraulic jack in a manual situation. Um, again, if batteries are dead, you can't fire up the, the generator to put power to it. We've got some ways that we can show you how to do that. So if you're on the road, we can actually go into our YouTube channel and send you an example of that, and it'll walk you through how to operate that. So like I mentioned, this is a 13-foot short wall. It's an outback conversion. With this trailer being a reverse load, our short wall is over here on passenger side. So let's take a look at it. Before we jump in, you can see two exterior speakers, the weatherproof uh, speakers on the outside here. You've got an awning. Uh, that is a, a uh, um, electric awning there, so it's just a push button, in and out it goes. Uh, what we found is over the last couple years, compared to a manual awning and electric awning, the costs are very, very similar. And actually, it's a lot easier to operate. It's, it actually, when you push the button in and it retracts into the trailer, it's locked in. So where in the manual awnings, what we were finding is a lot of customers kind of had a misconception on how they operate. When they roll in and they, they'll actually automatically lock into place. But what people were doing is they're reaching up and they're actually hitting the clip on the outside and actually unlocks it to where as you're going down the road, it had the potential of rolling out doing damage to the awning, doing damage to the trailer. But again, since the cost is almost identical, why not just go ahead and put electric awning on there?
So again, a 13 foot short wall. It's kind of got an interesting layout here. We'll kind of walk you through it a little bit, you know, up into the gooseneck. Um, you know, you've got a mattress up there. You've got your windows. You've got your day night blinds. You have some storage up front there. Um, you know, it's always in these trailers. It's always nice to go ahead and find just some extra storage if possible. You've got uh, ducted air throughout this. So again, we can kind of manipulate where that airflow goes. It kind of gives you a more consistent temperature throughout the cabin uh, by having that. And then also when we turn the, the heater on, we can run that fan and as that heat rises, we can actually circulate it throughout this, this living quarters area. On the gooseneck drop wall, you've got a sofa. So it's kind of the L shape. So you've got your dinette with a, a smaller bench here. This guy here, actually will when the table's out of the way it is a jackknife style so it will lay down into a bed so we've got your sleeping areas up in the living quarters we've got another sleeping area here and then actually this above as you can see it's got some cabinets but this is also a fold down bunk as well so this will drop down into a second uh, sleeping area here in this living quarters so if you're traveling with again maybe a couple people maybe kids, you know, you're, you're off rodeo in junior high, high school rodeo, and you need that, that extra uh, spot to go ahead and sleep, this will fold down into a bunk bed as well. Then you've got your kitchen. This is a really nice laid out kitchen from the standpoint of we've got our sink and then we've got our recessed two burner cooktop that when it's down, you actually have quite a bit of uh, counter space here, which is sometimes a little bit of a challenge. We've got our hood vent and a microwave uh, directly above that. This is a convection oven on this trailer here. And then over here behind me, you've got a flat screen TV. Again, more storage throughout this. Again, the more storage we can get, the better. Again, we always like to carry a lot of things with us. It's nice to have the extra space. We've got a 6.0 Dometic refrigerator and freezer. So you've got your separate fridge and freezer. So if you're going longer, longer stretches, we're not dealing with a small dorm fridge as I like to call it, it's a, the 3 -0. It's a little bit smaller. You have a very small area for actual freezer items as well, but not on this type of a setup here. And then this is a really good sized bathroom in here as well. You've got some more cabinets, bathroom vanity, Toilets tucked out of the way. It's ahead of those cabinets so you can actually stand in front of this this bathroom vanity to get ready. And then you've got a big closet as well. Dual clothes rods in there. Got a light in there. And then you've got a radius shower with a skylight as well. So you get some of the natural lighting the the ceiling material is a little bit darker so i like that we can get some of that natural lighting pulled in here you know it gives it a lot of, uh, of good lighting in the bathroom itself again a good sized bathroom we're not that's kind of one of the things is we're looking to order and design trailers the last thing we want to do is create a tiny little bathroom because honestly customers aren't usually very happy about them um, after they've used them for a little while i mean nobody likes trying to get ready in an extremely small area. Um, so we always try to, and, and I'm glad on this trailer here, it has that little bit bigger bathroom type setup. So like I mentioned, this is a reverse load. So we actually are gonna load right behind the living quarters here on passenger side, which is kind of cool too, because it, uh, you know, if you get in an emergency type situation, you gotta get the horses off of here. You're on the side of the road. Uh, you know, this is this is curbside, so we're away from traffic as we're unloading horses over here. So you've got your ramp that goes over our door. This back stall is a little bit wider, and there's multiple reasons for that. Um, one of the biggest is, is we're actually, as we're loading and unloading, these horses have to make this turn. So when your divider's out, and I'll show you, you know, this is actually a little bit tight of a turn right here, but they did a telescoping divider 
and then I've got a snap there that I can get it out of the way. And now this completely changes getting in and off. I mean, we have a lot more room here. Our angles aren't as tight and, a, and a drastic as we're trying to get these horses on and off these trailers. So this one here, telescopes down. These are airflow dividers, airflow head grills. So we got a lot more air movement, padded dividers. And then at stall one, you've got a stud divider. So with it having the stud divider in here, again, we can, you know, if you got somebody, a, a problem child that needs to be away from some of the other horses, additional storage, you can do that. Um, and then there's kind of some interesting things that we've got here. So we've got uh, two way roof vents, you know, one ab above each horse. And then we've got our drop windows on tail side as well. So I'll show you when we get to the other side of the trailer on the outside here that we've got drop windows on our head side, but we can create a lot of airflow. And this is interesting. They went ahead and they put a shelf in here. I mean, think about it. This is above, above the hip of the horse. So, you know, it is kind of wasted space. So, you know, it's a shelf, it's got a lip to it. So if you've got kind of some smaller miscellaneous items, you could toss them up there as well. LED lights in here. So you do have the light coverage. You can see the feed bunks in there on top of the mangers. I'll show you the mangers when we get to the other side of the trailer here. So two 10,000 pound axles, rubber torsion. These are Alcoa wheels. And then you've got the Continental tires. So really good heavy duty tires uh, on this trailer here with the two 10,000 pound axles. You know, you, you, you definitely have the axles underneath this trailer and then obviously the tires we don't like skimping on tires up above we've got a hay pod you can kind of see we've got some load lights as well they've got the button marker lights but there's a couple of those 16 inch awning lights that shoot down and out so as you're unloading horses or tacking up you know you've got the ability to to you know have that light coverage when it's darker you can see that champagne color. That's the color of this trailer. And as we're still looking at top, as we work to the back here, you can see to the right, there's our, our generator box. So this is equipped with an onboard generator. It is an Onan 4000 gas gen. I'll show you where the fuel's located. Uh, but back here, because it's a reverse load, you know, now we have this full width rear tack. So this has become so popular over the last couple of years because you know, it's not a mid-tack where it adds a lot of length to the trailer. Uh, you know, we're only really adding about two foot of length to this trailer. We're on a mid-tack, you would have probably an additional minimum of two, if not three foot of additional floor length to this trailer. Because when you're dealing with the angles, a four foot mid-tack just isn't quite right. You kind of need to really go with a five foot to get it to really flow and function how you want it. So that's why these rear tacks have become so popular. The other thing is it's horse safety. If somebody rear ends this trailer, they're hitting the back of the tack room. You know, we don't have a horse right here at the back of the trailer. So that's another uh, benefit to having this type of a setup. But as you can see, the dual doors, brush trays on each of them, everything's carpeted. You've got bridle hooks on each door. You know, it seems like, again, you can never have enough storage, whether it's in the living quarters or in the trailer itself. So, you know, this one has, you know, plenty of that. We've got some shelves over to the left. It's a kind of an L shape. I mean, it, it comes off this straight uh, passenger side wall and then it goes into the partition wall that angles. You've got your four tier saddle rack, you know, plenty of blanket bars on there, plenty of hooks. Again, everything's carpeted. So we like that from the standpoint of no tack is really rubbing against the wall itself, scuffing it up, making noise for the horses as you're driving. I'm going to go ahead and shut this left hand door because on it is the actual ladder that goes up goes up to our hay rack and pod. So this here's got your your ladder and then as you can see up top there they've got some additional handles for you um, as you get up to that platform getting on and off. Uh, that is kind of nice because as you're turning around to come off this trailer itself, you can actually hold on to that. You're not having to kind of, I don't know, some people are scared of heights, so they're gonna probably try to 
crawl off the top there uh, until they can hit their get their foot on a uh, on an actual the ladder itself. But that'll give you the ability to kind of hang on and get turned around and get where you need to your bearings anyway. You've got your fold up steps going into that tack room as well. That is nice because we're not going from the ground clear up and over that lip there at the back of this trailer. So that fuel cell was located underneath the shelves there and then here's our fill on driver's side. So you can fuel your pickup up, pull up to the gas pump and then go ahead and, and top that off. Two more LED awning lights. So again we get that light coverage and then here's those drop windows with the jail bars. Again, creating a lot of airflow, trying to keep the horses as comfortable as possible. They're nice, heavy duty, they're framed. Now this trailer does not have an escape door, so we've got four manger doors on this trailer here. They've gone in, put a, uh, basically a set of hooks at about every manger door. So again, you can kind of hang some more items in there. Again, never enough storage. I like that they've got a lot of it on this trailer here. Again, it is a used trailer. We're not gonna tell you it's new by any means. Uh, you know, there's a couple little scratches on the side of it, you know, probably got into a bush or a tree or something like that. So those type of things do happen. But again, we try to get them in as best condition as we can and, and the functionality there for you so you can go and enjoy this trailer. So again, this is a 2020 Elite. Four horse living quarters, 13 foot outback conversion, a reverse load with the full width rear tack. I'll give you the stock number on it. That is 5U211052. So if you have any questions, Again, we do take trade-ins. Got that trailer sitting around, you want to turn in some cash, give us a call, uh, but we can help you out with this. Also give us a call too, because, you know, talk to our sales team. I mean, let us know what you're looking for. Let us know what your budget is. Let us know what your kind of time frame is. If, if you've got some time, allow us to go find your trailer for you. I mean, you know, as we're looking at trade-ins or we're looking at purchasing trailers, um, you know, we might have something. These, these used trailers are going pretty fast from the standpoint of, you know, I mean, sometimes we get deposits on them before they even show up and, and we wrap the deal up on their new trailer. Um, so we don't want you to miss out. So give everybody uh, or anybody on our sales team a call because let us know what you're looking for. We'll get you on our list. If something kind of, you know, fits your criteria, we'll give you a call, let you know what it is. And maybe it gives you the opportunity where you don't miss out on it and somebody else jumps ahead of you. So give us a call. That number is 303 684 3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.